In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the meiosis gizmo. So let's take a look. Um, it's asking you to be familiar with some of these terms, which um, I'm going to go over a little bit as we get to that part. But some of it you should already know. Um, what happens before um, the cell divides and what has to happen with all the sex cells. Um, hopefully you know that when we make sex cells, um, I don't know if it's in this, this one, but you have um, 23 pairs, you have 46 chromosomes, and the sex cells only have half of, half of that. So, um, in this picture, the pink ones came from the mom and the blue ones came from the dad. And so um, the blue ones came from the sperm cell and the pink ones came from the egg cell. So sex cells have to only have half of the chromosomes because they're going to combine to make a whole individual. All right, so sex cells are also called gametes. Um, Examples of, of gametes are your sperm and egg. And so in this warm up, you're going to be clicking on the male. And, um, and then it's going to take you through the phases of meiosis. So um, here we are in interphase. And here is what the chromosomes look like in interphase. And um, and then it says, read the description, what happens to the cell at the beginning of interphase. So it looks like we need to click on here. Oh, let's go back. So in interphase, the chromosomes are copied. The cell prepares for division and makes new proteins and it gets bigger. So this is sort of a repeat of last uh, time when we were talking about mitosis, so same thing for interphase, that's what's happening, and then we're going to go ahead and read these little things to see what to do next. So we click on it, oops, um, I'll just click on it twice, okay. So here's the DNA, do you see how it's, um, doubled, so it's made copies of itself, and the cell's growing, and then, so that's what this, this is asking, this is asking why it needs to do that. Okay, and then it's going to say, let's take a look at the phases of meiosis. So interphase was um, not considered technically uh, the phase of meiosis, but now we're in prophase one because it's going to, there's going to be a two. So um, it tells you to click on the nucleus to break it down. So, I can click on that. so now the nucleus has disappeared. Um, by the way, at this point, you should know how many chromosomes the cell has. So um, all cells start out with 46. In humans, we have 46. So, um, and, and each of those 46 have now made a copy of itself. So it's in that kind of X shape because it has, a, it, it has a copy right here. So this is actually one chromosome, but each of these is a copy. So technically it's the same DNA as two chromosomes, but because they're connected, uh, we call it one. Okay, and so then it says click on the DNA to condense it into chromosomes. So this is DNA. Um, when it's all unraveled, we call it chromatin, but now we're going to click on it and it's coiling up into chromosomes, which hopefully you remember from before. Okay, so these are homologous chromosomes, which mean they are kind of matching chromosomes. They're not identical, but if you look over here, you have two chromosome number ones two chromosome number twos, and two chromosome number threes, etc. So each of these 
are, they're both chromosome number one. One came from your dad and one came from your mom. So they are, they have the same um, types of genes on them, but you might have gotten a different specific gene from each parent. So for example, they might have the gene for eye color, but your dad might have given you brown eyes and your mom might have given you the green eye gene. So they're not identical, but they are sort of what we call homologous. They're matching chromosomes. And so, so here's homologous chromosomes. They have the same genes. So here's like brown eyes and here's blue eyes. Okay, here's someone a uh, gene for being able to roll your tongue. And this is not, um, not able to roll your tongue and roll your tongue. So they have the same genes, but different variations of the gene, different variants. They might be the same. Maybe both of your parents each gave you the ability to roll your tongue, the gene to roll your tongue, but they can also be different. So these are homologous chromosomes, and these are homologous chromosomes. Um, so then we're going to um, draw the two lines. OK, oh, well, here it's going to go. Oh. So we're going to drag the centromeres, so these are the centromeres, to the top and the bottom of the cell. So one's going to be up here, and one's going to be down here. Okay. And then we're going to draw, drag the homologous chromosomes together to pair them up. So these are, these are, uh, we're going to pair them up together, and then these are going to pair them together. Okay. And then I'm going to, um, Oh, this is where they cross over. So we're going to, this is where they sort of get together and exchange some genes, similar genes. So they, hopefully you know what crossing over is because you watch the videos. And then let's do another here. Oops, another. So um, they swapped genes. I don't know if you can do that. Yeah, can that. Okay and then continue on down. All right, let's see. Oh, I see. So here you're supposed to draw lines connecting the homologous um, chromosomes. And I guess you can use the edit tool to do a drawing tool. Okay. Um, so then here we get to metaphase. You're going to line them up in the middle, okay, meta. Starts with an M middle. And then you're gonna um, add the spindle fibers okay, so that they can um, make sure that the chromosomes divide evenly and the right number go to each side of the cell. And we are going to click on the centromeres and the centromeres are gonna kind of reel them in. And now you've got one homologous chromosome, one here, one one here, one one here, one one here. Okay, so, um, and notice this used to be all dark green, but um, when they were kind of next to each other, there was some crossing over. So the green chromosome gene went over to the light green and the light green went over here. So they kind of, even though this, this green one had made a duplicate copy of itself. Now the copies are not identical. Okay, and then we're gonna um, reform, click on these to reform the nucleus. Okay, and then I'm gonna click on this to kind of divide them. All right, so we went through metaphase, anaphase, telophase, and now we're at prophase two. So we have to do it again, remember, um, in meiosis, it goes through cell division twice because we need to end up with half the number of chromosomes. Okay, so um, I think you noticed that there were still two in each cell. Um, oh, it divided into two. Okay, so now that's all going on. And um, 
So it originally had four, and then now we have two. So it went from diploid because we had two of each chromosome pair, and then we went to haploid. We just have one and one, one of, one of the big ones and one of the small ones. So we call that haploid. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with um, prophase two. So it kind of tells you, click on the nucleus, break it down, and condense the DNA. So now we've got to condense these the chromosomes. And then we're going to drag the centromeres to the right and left side. Okay. And then we're going to drag them to the middle. See that dotted line? That's the metaphase line. Okay. And right now there's two chromosomes in each cell, but technically there's DNA for four chromosomes because this is a copy of this one. Um, so there's two copies on here. Now we're going to add the spindle fibers. And we're going to reel in the half to each side. Then we're going to click on the centromeres to shorten and drag them. And then we are going to click on the chromosomes to reform the nucleus. Reform. Reform. And then split that and split that. Okay. So now we have four spermatids or four cells. And um, each one had, has two chromosomes. But if you remember, they're not identical. This one is a dark long green one with a dark blue one with a little light, light blue. Okay, And this one is a dark green one with some light green on it. So every single one of these ended up being different. So every single sperm and this was just one crossover that happened and one crossover that happened. But um, that's why all the sperm are unique. Even though they're making copies and dividing, none of the sperm come out um, exactly like another sperm. And same thing with the eggs. So um, that's why you and your brothers and sisters are all unique combinations of the DNA from your parents, sperm, and eggs. Okay, so that's what you're going to do for the sperm, and then you're going to do it again for the female one, so you can go a little faster through that. Um, and the only difference, hopefully you know, is that in the female, they're going to end up making one big egg and three small little polar bodies, but the steps are going to be the same. Okay, so go ahead and follow that through. And then we're going to do activity C. So let's take a look at activity C. Um, um, so make sure the steps are selected and click reset. Okay, so now we're going to see how, um, how meiosis can make an unlimited unique number of unique gametes, gametes being sperm and egg. Okay. So this is kind of like what we talked about. Um, and we're going to go ahead and go through ANG. So we have to do it. We have to do it. And then we're just going to go ahead and click through the um, steps till we get to ANG. Okay. The ANG is when they're going away from each other. Okay, so here's where they the homologous chromosomes kind of pair up. And chromosome went up and down. So 
So that was kind of phase. Um, okay. So, ooh. so if do you see how I pulled this chromosome here? These are showing the genes. These are showing the specific genes. So, for example, big E might be eye color and that might be brown eye color and little E might be blue eye color. And big F might stand for freckles and little F might stand for no freckles. So they are the same type, they're, the, they're a gene for the same thing, but they have different um, variations of that gene. So, um, Okay, so you need to write down which ones went up and which ones went down. So it looks like dark green. I think, okay, so dark green. Went up. Oh, I guess it's just asking. I Oh, it's before, it's without this. Before. Okay. It's actually asking about the crossing over. Sorry. Can you tell us if the person is doing this picture? All right, so it's asking which went up and which went down. The dark green and dark blue went up, and then the light green and light blue went down. And then we're going to go back, and we're going to do it again. And it didn't change. Okay, and then we'll go back and do it again. Oh, now the dark green went this way. So what it's trying to show is that it's pretty random. Sometimes the dark green comes down this way, sometimes dark green goes up there. Okay, so they they randomly separate. It's not like it, it does the same thing each time. They randomly separate. So you're gonna go ahead and put that. This is dark green, light green, dark green, light green. Oh, purple. Okay. Okay. So then we're gonna reset this. And we need to go back to prophase, and this is where we're going to look at the alleles. Okay, so let's go email. We have to go again with this one. Nucleus. Condense those. Okay, so we're in prophase. And then we're going to drag the light green one to the allele map. So if we go here, now we can see the different alleles or the variations of the gene. Okay. So for example, here, here's, um, these are alleles. Here's an allele for brown eyes. Here's an allele for blue eyes. Um, these are, eye color is the gene, but these are all different variations of the gene. And here's, um, okay, so let's go back and look. These are alleles. They're the variations of the gene. And so um, the genotype is the actual allele. So the genotypes are the names of alleles, so EE. -E. And so this genotype is EEFFGGHHJJ. -E so those are the alleles because you have two of each. And they should be the same because there's 
they, this is just a duplicate of this. Okay. And then it's asking you what the genotypes uh, are of the of remaining chromosomes. So what are the alleles? So this would be little e, little e, little f, little f, little g, little g, little h. And you're going to do that for the dark purple and light purple. And then um, after moving the centromeres, drag them. And click, click. So, move the centromeres. And then move up. And then this is where crossing over happens. So we're going to click on several segments. Oh, we can click on more than one. Okay. We're going to click on several se segments. And then um, we're going to proceed to anaphase. And then we're going to click this. Okay. So now what you're going to do is you're going to look at the alleles of the light green one. Okay. And now this one is big E, little e, big F, little F, big G, big G, big H, big H, and big J, little J. So that will be the allele for um, this one. And you're going to go ahead and see what the alleles alleles are for all four of them. Okay, this one is big A, little A, little B, little B, little big C, little C. You always say the big one first, and big D, little D. So notice when you when these are crossing over that it kind of mixes up these. This used to be all little letters, but now there's some different genes that got swapped with the other homologous pair. And so now when this splits apart, this is going to be different from this, and this is going to be different from this. So it creates four unique cells, four cells with unique DNA, unique um, combinations of genes. All right. Skip. Okay, so when something goes wrong, let's go ahead and hit reset. Okay, now this time. Um, and then, oh, so it says skip. Okay. Ah. Oh, so look at what happened when you skipped um, the DNA replication step. One, um, two of the cells didn't have any DNA because you didn't make a, an extra copy of it. So when you split, one cell got the DNA and one cell did not. Okay, so you're going to go back to each of the stages and then click skip. So once you get to metaphase, you'll go ahead and click skip. Once you get to anaphase two, you're going to click skip. And you're going to see what happens when certain errors happen at different steps and you skip them. And if you remember from our karyotype at the beginning, the beginning activity, if there's anything that's skipped or anything that goes wrong, you can get the wrong number of chromosomes in your sex cells. So remember trisomy 21, you get an extra chromosome. Uh, 21, Turner syndrome, you're missing one chromosome. Or um, XYY, you're getting an extra. So all of that is because of errors happening in meiosis. OK, that was really long. Um, if you want to go ahead and do the activity D, that is optional. 
and that is just showing um, taking it to the next step with fruit flies and looking at their genes and what happens when you cross over and what, what are the resulting um, offspring. So one word that you need to know here is um, phenotype. So genotype are the genes that you have. So it's the B, big B, big B, little B, uh, big B, little B, little B, little B. Those are genotypes. We're going to talk about this in the next uh, next week anyway. Phenotype is what does it look like? Does it have so here? Does it have curly wings? Does it have normal wings? Um, so phenotype is kind of the physical trait. Um, these are the different phenotypes, but the genotypes would be what are the alleles that they have. So with these um, fruit flies. If you have a curly wing gene, a curly wing allele, and a normal wing allele, because this one is a big C, this one's dominant, then um, your phenotype is going to be curly. Okay, so any anytime you have one of each, or anytime you have a dominant allele, that's what's going to show up. The only way you can have a recessive trait, recessive phenotype, is if you have two recessive alleles. So if you have little c, little c, then you would have normal wings. If you have Little L, little L, then you would have antenna. Antenna. All right. So uh, hopefully you made it through this um, long video, and that will help you with 